A love life coach is much like a sporting coach or a business coach or any other type of coach that helps a person achieve a goal. So a love coach helps somebody to achieve the goal of being in a healthy relationship. How I help is I start with getting them really clear about what it is they want because one of the biggest problems that people have is that they don't identify what they want in a relationship. So I say it's a bit like wanting to go on a trip and getting in your car or on a plane but not having any idea of where the destination is. You could end up anywhere. I start with getting a person to identify what they want in a relationship, what type of partner they want and what their ideal scenario is. They might want to be married and they might want to have children. That becomes the goalposts for that person and we work then intentionally about what it is that that person needs to work on within themselves, identify and let go of in order to move towards that goal. Then we start to look at the different things that are within the person and do a whole lot of inner work so that then the way that that person presents in the world and presents to potential partners is different. Often the thing that holds people back is feeling battle weary from the quest to find a relationship, especially with dating apps and that sort of thing. People just get so tired and disenchanted and disillusioned. What can be holding them back can be the negativity in a way, which kind of impacts how they show up in a dating scenario when they're looking for love. It can also make them feel a bit panicked about finding somebody and that can lead them to making bad choices and bad decisions. If you have your heart broken, it can be such a significant trauma, which then creates within us, in a way, a whole lot of unconscious ways of avoiding that trauma again. And I think a lot of people, out of the fear of getting hurt, are deciding unconsciously or consciously sometimes just to be alone because the risk of having their heart broken again and getting hurt just feels too big and people who are long-term single just can get into the comfort zone of being single and having that predictability to their life and there's nothing wrong with that a lot of people are absolutely content being on their own but some people really close the door on love out of fear and not knowing how to do it any different. How did you even get in a relationship with somebody in the first place who was a liar? How did you end up in a relationship with somebody who actually has a history of cheating? What was it that made you stay in a relationship with somebody who mistreated you? So I help people turn the microscope on themselves in quite a, a gentle way, but it's really important and valuable to be able to know what was your part in a flawed dynamic so that you don't do that again? If you don't know, if you're not aware of what your part in it was, then you don't have any real hope of not doing the same again. Success looks like being able to be in a relationship and bring your best self to the relationship. And by that I mean your authentic self, to be truly who you are and to be in the relationship without fear of being found out without fear of the other person knowing your your foibles your weaker points i mean we all have them so success looks like being with somebody who you can trust with your heart who you have common goals with who you can work through challenges with and move forward in a positive way